um, I think the pro-military parties were caught by surprise. They were not expecting that the two main opposition party would be winning as many seats um, on Sunday's general elections. But um, the voters have spoken. And I think the message is a clear call for change after eight years of military and semi-military rule. Indeed. How surprising to you in the end was the performance of the Move Forward Party? I was quite surprised, actually. I have no doubt they will be doing well, but uh, the fact that they even uh, gain more seats than the more traditional main opposition party, the Thai Party, was a surprise to, I believe, most people, or even by the leaders of the Move Forward uh, Party themselves. Um, I, there are a few reasons why that is the case. Um, first of all, the younger generations overwhelmingly uh, support Move Forward Party. And that is because Move Forward Party has the clearest positions when it comes to some controversial uh, issues such as reform of the royal defamation law or the less majestic law, an end to compulsory military conscription, which affects a lot of young males who have to spend two years doing military conscriptions. Although Thailand is not technically at war with any country at all. Um, others include the uh, promise to introduce the elected governor um, system. Up until today, and up until now, the all the governors outside Bangkok are appointed by the central government or the interior ministry. So people want change, they want devolutions, greater free speech. Um, um, and uh, I think the younger generation who came of age over the past uh, few years are uh, clearly connecting themselves with move forward. While well, Thai Party, the leaders are getting, most of the leading cadets are getting older. They are, uh, are not sending the right message that would connect, would have connected them, them with the urban um, educated voters. So that's one reason. There are probably two more factors. Another one being that uh, the Pua Thai Party were never clear whether they would be joining a coalition with the pro-military pro Palang Prasharat Party or not. And on top of that, they fill in three PM candidates, but never made it clear who will be their first choice if they win the most seats. So these are various factors that led to the surprise uh, victory of Move Forward Party. Yeah, the Perta were not really very clear in terms of, as you say, whether another Shinawat would be leading, and that's never always gone Correct. that well. So tell us, what do we know about the leader of Move Forward? He seems quite charismatic, but how much experience does he have with this kind of negotiated coalition? Well, at the very beginning at the initial stage, he became the leader of the party almost by chance because the predecessor of Move Forward Party, which is known as Future Forward Party, was disbanded and dissolved by the Constitutional Court back in 2019. So all the main real leaders of the party, which eventually became Move Forward Party, were banned from politics for 10 years, chiefly this man by the name of Tanaton Jungrungrungkit, who was the co-founder and former leader and now banned from politics of Future Forward Party. And they, the leaders who were banned, then decided to choose Tana, uh, to choose Pita Lim Jaranrat as a substitute. Pita uh, came from an upper middle class family, uh, were not known to be politically active. He was not really widely known prior to him uh, being appointed as the leader. But he's Harvard educated and he has the right crowd 
still, you know, the, the job is really, I mean, in a way, he is a greenhorn. We would not know what kind of prime minister and how effective he would be if he becomes a prime minister. But it is still a, a slightly, a, there's a slight big if because of the voting system for the next prime minister. But generally good looking, um, eloquent, uh, but of course, it will be a new job. The, the, the party was never part of the government before. The first term over the past four years, they end up uh, being a strong opposition. So it is, an, in a way, uh, partly an unknown quantity, but a very, very well-educated man and uh, who, who could connect themselves, particularly to the young, educated uh, voters. Yeah, I guess the, the, the question, Pravit, is whether the military is going to agree <laughs> to move, allow them to move forward with their very reformist agenda. And of course, they are going to come up against a military dominated Senate if they do want to form some form of government. Absolutely. The army cannot be trusted. Everyone is watching their every move because just a few days before the elections, the army chief himself. General Narong Panjit Gauta have said or told the media he cannot guarantee that the military will not intervene if there happens to be military uh, happens to be political upheavals in the months ahead. That is the clearest signal we could have ex have expected from an army chief that there is a possibility of the coup. But back to choosing the prime minister, as you have mentioned, the system has been designed or twisted or distorted as such that it cannot be called a fair elections because out of, there are 500 elected MPs, but the 500 elected MPs will have to jointly vote with the junta appointed upper house or senators, 250 of them, which means one third of the vote is already in the pockets of the pro military camp because they were all chosen by Prayut. And that means Pita or Move Forward Party and its coalition will need 376 votes to ensure that Pita will become the next prime minister. Currently, they just announced the formation of a six party coalition and they only have 309. In a normal society, that would already be a foregone conclusion that Pita will become the next prime minister, but not in Thailand under this twisted rules designed by the military junta after the coup in 2014. So we don't know whether they'll manage to convince some senators or some MPs from the current caretaker government's coalition party. Yeah, fascinating and one we are going to watch with absolute interest. Pravid, good to have you on. Thanks so much. Thank you. My pleasure.